What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video today, and in this video I'm going to be taking a look at the Gemini Jets February 2022 releases. We got the releases today, Wednesday, February 2nd, the second day of the month, and Gemini Jets' first release within the 2022 calendar year. I have not checked Discord or Instagram or anything really that would pertain to the new releases, so I have no idea what's in them. But without further ado, we're going to jump straight in, check out the 1-200 releases, and see what we got going on there. First up, we have a Boeing C-17 Globemaster once again. We have one from the March Air Force Base this time. A little bit confused there, because I think last release set, I think we got one as well, so kind of threw me for a loop there. Uh, next up, we have a UPS 767-300 freighter, and this is the exact same registration that was announced in the December-January set in 1400. November 322 Uniform Papa. Now, I did see a couple of collectors point out the winglet on the UPS 767 and 1400. It looked like that it was a little bit misaligned or something, like it was just bent weirdly. So it seems like Gemini may have tried to Photoshop the image to make it look a little bit better, but I think that didn't really pass many collectors' eyes, unfortunately. So if you did get that model, I do kind of feel bad if you don't like that winglet, but whatever. Next up, we have a Turkish Airlines A350-900. Um... I don't think I've I don't think I've been aware that Turkish was going to get the E350s. I know they have the 7879s and I remember seeing a couple of plane spawning videos from Atlanta where they did send um 79s there. So um Tango Charlie Dash, I think that's Lima Golf Alpha is the registration. It's a little bit pixelated, but just clear enough where I can see where the registration is located. Next up, we have a Gull 737 Max A. This is one of the future releases we had in that massive future release backlog. I'll pop up some pictures here as to what it looked like. If I'm able to find any, if not, then you're not going to see anything. But it has been massive, so I would not be surprised if a good chunk of that backlog is cleared out this month. Just to try and um, clear that up and try to get some new future releases in as well. Next up, we have an Emirates A380 with the Expo 2020 Dubai livery. This is the uh, blue one. Um, there's like an opportunity one, and I forget what the other two are, but this blue one here, that's not opportunity. I think that's either green or orange. Um, the blue one is something completely different, but we have that in store for us. So back to the Emirates releases, which they do quite a lot of because of their uh, licensing agreement or something along the lines of that that they have with Emirates. So a little bit annoying that we do get those repetitively compared to some of the more releases that we have gotten as of late. Oh, yes, Breeze! Yes! Good, good job, Gemini. We got Breeze in 1-200 here. Breeze Embraer 190. Now, this is a model that I have been wanting in 1-400, so please, I really hope that this is in 1-400 because I love Breeze. Their livery is so cool on the 190s. I don't have a 190 in my collection either, so that'd be really, really nice to have. So can we please get that in 1-400? Maybe this month. If not, then maybe next month. So sometimes they'll do the same releases in a 1-200 same month and also do it in 1400 as well or they might do the 1400 the next month like we saw with the american eagle Embraer 175 but that's enough of me talking we do have the american eagle Embraer 170 in the retro livery so again another model that i really want in 1400 so i'm hoping that that's in a 1400 release at some point in the future we have the air france a220 up next so this is another one of the future releases the american eagle Embraer 170 was also a future release on that massive future release backlog Really, really nice stuff right there. Again, picture is a little bit slow to load here, um, as has been the case the last few release videos. Um, next up, we have an Air Canada 7879 flaps down, and that was one of the models announced in the December-January set in 1400. And our final release will be a regular wing configuration, so just without that flaps down sticker. And it most definitely is. Um, oh, I did skip over one. Holy crap. I just saw it. American Eagle CRJ 700. Wow, the regional jet's coming out in full force in 1-200 this month. Wow. Okay, just want to check to make sure I didn't miss anything in 1-200. Uh, okay, pretty good. A lot of regional jets in 1-200, so wow, that's that's quite impressive. Now we move up to the 1-400s. This is where I get a little bit scared because if there's anything good, I'm going to be spending that money on. I have quite a bit of money saved up for a big event that will be happening later this summer. Again, I did mention this previously, but I will have more information on that event at a later date in one of my videos. 
First up in the 1-400s, we have an Emirates Airbus A380, I think. At least this is Emirates. Yeah, because it's Alpha 6. So this is the special Be Part of the Magic for the Dubai Expo 2020. So that's a, few, that's a future release, by the way, I forgot to mention. Um, so that's been on there for a while. We have another Emirates A380 to follow. So, oh boy. Oh boy, please don't tell me that this is going to be a May release, which... Actually, you know what? I, I, I take that previous statement back. I would kind of want a May release because I want to save some money up. So um, if this is a bad release, I can definitely take it. Uh, let's see here. What are we taking a look at next? More Emirates. Jeez, Gemini. Okay, really trying to clear out the Emirates backlog here. So now we have a 777-300ER with the uh, 50th anniversary sticker. So... Yes, Delta Connection! Good, yes. Okay, so for so the fact that we got three consecutive Emirates releases, we do have the Delta Connection CRJ200. Now, this is one of the future releases that was announced in 1400, November 6A5 Bravo Romeo is a registration. I thought it was going to be Alpha Sierra. That's the one that they did previously, but I will have to get that. So Delta Connection CRJ200 will be joining my collection. That is one of the critical Gemini jets, regional jets that I've, been, that I've yet to get in my collection. Next up, we have an Asiana 777-200ER, and now I just want to provide some updates here. Um, I looked on Skyworld, which is an international retailer from, I think, South Korea, and they did have this on their website, so I think this is the exact same one that was previously listed on there, so that is kind of interesting. So it does not seem like we will get a Delta Connection Embraer 175, but the CRJ200 is always a nice touch. Ooh, Alaska-8400. We have one of these special liveries. Go dogs! The Washington Huskies. Now, they did announce this in uh, 1200 previously a few months ago, so this is a really nice touch. If you do need a, uh, an Alaska-8, here is your chance to get it. So definitely get it while you can. Moving up the list... We have an Air Canada 777-200LR. We have a flaps-down release here in this set, so uh, next release will be a regular wing configuration. So standard livery, nothing too special here. And what do we have to round off the releases? We have, just trying to load here, we have an Aeromexico 737 Max 9. All right, just want to make sure I didn't miss anything, which it looks like I did not. And that is all the releases we have for this month. So a little bit disappointing that the um, three Emirates releases took up some very valuable slots there in the um, in the releases for 1-400. A little bit disappointing that that has to be the case, but whatever. I got a whole bunch of licensing agreements and contracts and all that fun stuff, so they're just going to pump out Emirates release after Emirates release after Emirates release. So two A380s in this set, probably to make up for lost time. But the good news is we do have a Delta Connection CRJ200 in this release set, so that will be something that I will be getting, no question. Um, let's take a look here what, we, what else we have in here. So Asiana 777, I did see this previously, so this is a release that kind of got leaked, I guess, on uh, Skyworld website. Otherwise, everything else is pretty much run-of-the-mill. Um, Alaska-8 is kind of nice, so nothing, nothing too crazy there. Moving on to the 1200 Breeze. I'm a little disappointed that we didn't get Breeze this month um, in 1400, but hopefully that's coming next month for March or an April release set, depending on when that's announced. So that will be something that will hopefully be taken care of. Actually, no, this says it's a number here 195, so I thought it was a 190, but it's a 195 on that one. But we do have an American Eagle CRJ700 in this set, so hopefully that means another one will be released in 1400. They did the Sky West CRJ700 last year. Um, that's an American Eagle um, example that was done there. And then we have the Goal 737 Max, kind of a unique release for this set. And then just some of the other usual stuff as well. So kind of disappointing that there's three Emirates releases in 1400. I know I'm kind of hogging on that, but I mean. Really, he had nothing else to do, but I mean, at least we got a Delta Connection again, so we got the CRJ200. Hopefully the Embraer 175 is not far out, because that is something that I would like to see at some point. So with that being said, that is the end of the video. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.